Hey there, it's so nice to see you here. Whether you're someone who has painted for a while or is just about to start learning how to paint, when it comes to self-doubt, you're not alone. I'm pretty sure you can't find anyone that has absolute confidence in their painting skills because painting is challenging. Once you reach a certain level, you want to improve again and you can only do that when you step out of your comfort zone. And those territories are usually scary, uncomfortable, very, very uncomfortable. And some people don't even go there because they're afraid of failures. The great news is there are things you can do to help yourself rise above these more vulnerable moments and just let them become even motivating. So if you're battling a lack of confidence or self-doubt, here are five tips for boosting your confidence in your abilities. So the very first thing might be very obvious to you, and that's learning by doing. And again, this might sound really, really obvious to you. You might have heard about this before, but sometimes we still spend way too much time thinking, planning, and then overthinking again. And then we wait until we feel super confident to start doing or get better at something. It's like when you want to become more confident talking in front of a group of people, you might start thinking, well, I'm not that confident yet. I can't do that. I need to wait until I'm more confident so that I can speak in front of a group of people. But the truth is you can only learn or get better at something by actually doing it. Even if it's something scary like speaking in front of a large group of people, the more you do something, the more you learn and the more confident you get. It's that simple. Sure, your first time you speak in front of a group might be not as smooth as you like, it's scary, you might mess it up from sometimes, maybe even a lot, but eventually, the more you practice and go through this experience, eventually you become good at it and more confident because you've already done that. And not only once, you've done this multiple times. And learning how to paint is just like that. Getting better at painting is not a straight line upwards like you might imagine. Nothing is really a straight line. It's a very chaotic and swirly line that includes frustration, self-doubt, imposter syndrome, and so much more. Doing something new that is outside of your comfort zone is full of discoveries. You will not only discover things about the medium, but also so much about yourself. Maybe how much your perfectionism is still holding you back or maybe that there is still so much for you to learn. It's actually a good thing because imagine if there was nothing new for you to learn or that there were no challenges for you to conquer. How boring would this be, right? Instead of doubting yourself and focusing on the lack of confidence, Focus on feeling excited to develop the confidence as you embrace the challenges. Yes, it might be stressful to think about how paint and water behave or that everything starts drying quicker than you wished, but actually taking the time to practice to learn how to navigate through stressful moments will help you stay calm, enjoy the process, and really help you be more patient with yourself so much more. And this brings me to the next point. Be patient. Art is a journey, not a destination. And I know this sounds cheesy and you've probably heard this a million times, but it's true. It takes time to get better at something. Don't immediately expect masterpieces. And actually, that's not the whole point. It's very tempting to start thinking you should be better by now. Why isn't this working? I tried it twice, maybe multiple times already. But we all need to develop patience while we not only improve existing skills, but also while we gain new skills. Because if you are patient, you will see improvements and those improvements, whether large or very small, will boost your confidence. And as with everything in life, art is a journey, as I said, not a destination. Plus, you wouldn't be motivated to go any further because you have already reached your destination. So what you can do instead? Embark on the journey of always be learning and focus on improving one little thing at a time. Instead of looking at your art and thinking, it's complete trash. And who do I think I am thinking I could be an artist? Instead, be proud of yourself that you're putting in the work to get better. 
appreciate what you've already created, appreciate where you are, where your skills are, and then you can look at what you can improve the next time you try this idea or when you start a new painting. No paper or paint is wasted, only new experiences and learnings are gained. And if you approach every painting with curiosity to learn and to discover new things, you will be surprised how much you have improved when you look back at your previous art. So again, instead of thinking about how intimidated you are, choose to feel the excitement of riding a wave in new territories and learning something new. As Mark Twain said, if you do what you have always done, you will get what you have always got. So be brave and get excited. And the more you do that, the easier it will be for you to not take every painting that didn't turn out the way you wanted so personally. Instead, you will feel excited to continue your journey because you will know that doing more of what might scare you or that is challenging to you will only make you better and more confident. And whenever you reach another level of comfort, you will find new challenges that will make you doubt yourself. These are just growing pains and they're part of the process and it actually means you're stepping outside your comfort zone again. This means you're making progress on your journey. Another thing you also want to keep in mind is do not compare your skills to others. And I know you've heard this a million times, but the comparison is the thief of joy. If you compare your art with others, you will always feel like you're not good enough. But the truth is, there will always be people who are better at doing something than you. But also there will always be people that are less skilled than you. There will never be a time where you feel like you're the best of the best because there will always be someone who might be even better and make everything look so easy. And I'm not saying this to discourage you, I'm saying this because it's a good thing because there's actually no point in comparing yourself to others. Everyone is on their own unique path with different backgrounds, stories, mindsets, and with a completely different attitude. Some people will learn faster, some people will learn slower, and that's okay. You're right where you need to be and you're going at the right speed you need to go. It's only unfair to you to compare yourself to others because you're completely neglecting how far you've come and how many skills you've already developed on your own path. There is a reason why some people make something look so easy. And that's because they've been walking their path for many years. And this means if you continue your own journey of always be learning, you will also make it look super easy for people that are just starting out or are behind you. I mean, to some degree, you can compare your art to other artists, but only to get inspired, not to use someone's art as your standard that you use to measure your art. This will only make you feel worse. Again, it's not fair to you to compare your art to others because you are not them and they're not you. You have your own unique traits and you should celebrate the differences. The other thing you need to do to boost your confidence is you need to embrace failures. Because what usually happens, you categorize artworks that didn't turn out the way you envisioned them as failures. Sometimes you might not even complete them because you feel that you can't even meet your own expectations, so why even bother to continue? So instead, you just simply toss your painting into the trash. And the more you try and the more you see the attempts as failures, you feel less and less confident. You might even start questioning your abilities. You slowly start regretting even picking up your brush and maybe even starting thinking that painting is not just your thing. And as I always say, there are no failures, only learning opportunities. If you quit something because it didn't work out, you will never improve and become more confident in anything that you're doing. Failures are like requirements to succeed in anything. If you don't fail, you will never know what and how to improve something to reach what you desire. So actually, you can't even call it a failure. It's a learning experience. And we all grow artistically through those quote unquote failures because we can never grow if we don't learn what doesn't work first. So we can apply what actually does work in our next attempt. If you look at artists you admire, you only see their final work and all the confidence in their artwork. You don't really get to see how many failures there were and how hard they have worked on their confidence until they created an artwork they were satisfied with. 
So the more you embrace those quote unquote failures, the faster you will learn and the faster you'll gain confidence in anything that you're trying to get bad at. It's easy to listen to our brain that tries to keep us safe by talking ourselves out of anything, especially when things don't turn out the way we want them, because then something or someone from your past will pop in your head that said that you're not good enough and who are you kidding? So you start thinking maybe they're right after all. So then what happens, you continue to live your life in this identity someone else created for you. And I believe it's time for you to create your own artistic identity you can be proud of. Because I believe learning how to do something is not so much about how much effort you put in and how much you practice. It's really more about whether or not you keep going and conquer not only challenges with your artistic abilities, but also with your inner dialogue that will always try to sabotage you whenever you reach a new level that is still uncomfortable to you. So you need to keep going no matter what. So you can embody this identity of an artist that will always keep pushing, always keep learning, because that's what they're all about. Because this is what ultimately we are in control. We are not in control of the outcome, but we are in control of how we react to something. And if you give up, you're guaranteed to never improve as an artist and you will never gain any confidence in your skills. And even if it takes you longer to get better at something, that's okay. Don't rush the process. It will all fall into place if you keep going. And if you tried watercolor painting in the past, but no matter what, your paintings turn out pale, streaky, or where watercolor supplies make you feel miserable, make sure to check out my free guide to watercolor painting supplies. Because you do want to have an enjoyable journey and not an experience that makes you feel miserable, right? So check out the link in the description box down below. I really hope you liked this video and find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.